have to, um, I'm, 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 I'm being advised by um, the person to my right, uh, before we can take up the, the letters of retirement that we received, we need to um, waive the requirement that we must um, receive all notices of retirement by no later than December 1st. I believe the superintendent is going to address that. Mr. Chair? Yep. We checked with Attorney Elwell, um, and he says we've done this in the past, so there's no, there's no, there's not a problem with following this process, but we would need the um, school board, due to the receipt of several retirement letters from staff covered on the SAU agreement, um, that the school board waive the December school board waive the December first deadline as stated in Article 18.2 below, in order to process retirement stipends accordingly. And the section is: the superintendent must receive no later than December first written notice of retirement at the end of the school year, and request for st retirement stipend notice must be in writing. The board must take action no later than January 15th of that school year. Retirement stipend will be paid on or before July 1st of that calendar year. <coughs> Once again, we did check with Attorney Elwell. He says there's not a problem with us if the board um, votes on this. And we also received, I think, a couple of extra. Two. And I believe um, Mr. Hopkins has and I, that weren't in the packet. And, and I, I believe I may have jumped the gun a little bit here on this issue. I mean, I think that's probably something we need to talk about in non public first. Is that not, am I not mistaken? Um, retirements. Um, we don't necessarily have to do that in non-public. Um, okay. That's uh, fine. This, if we can do it in public, here, that's great. What, 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 I'm not talking about the individual retirements right now. I know. I'm asking to waive this section. I'm asking the board to waive this section of the CBA. Is there a motion to waive I make waive a motion it? that we waive this section of the CBA. Is there a second? Discussion? Yes. Um, Mr. Sullivan, did Mr. Alwell say that we need... Excuse me. I'm Harry. Oh, do, that we need, we need to, this is something we have to do, or this is up to the board whether or not they do it? The question, Mr. Chair, was this is a section you, of the, oh, yes. Yeah, please. Not yet. The question, Mr. Mr. Attorney Elwell, was um, we did receive retirement requests after the date. Should we go to the school board? and get this section waived. He asked if it's been done before. Paul says the boards have done this before. And he said, well, then you, have, you can continue to move forward in that direction. So I would re my recommendation, as I wrote, is the board take a vote and waive that section. Just so we're clear for the future. Okay. What do we have at uh, Superintendent, uh, sir? Um, on the retirement thing, stipends, we don't really budget for that, do we? Have to pay it out all by year end? We don't budget. I oh, just heard from uh, Mr. Hickey. So let's say we have four, and we'd have to take that out of something. If, if we don't pay them but because of it's not in the, we don't have it in reserves, under the, the bargain agreement, what do we do uh, when those people are looking for their check at the end of the uh, end of the school year, because I, I didn't believe we budgeted, sir. That's why I asked. Right, it's not budgeted in our current budget. The uh, stipend will be paid on or before July 31. So what we'd have to do is budget for that 14-15 year to cover these retirements. If the monies, as we approach June 30, appear to be available, we could cover those retirements out of this budget but where they're if you will to be paid on or before July 30 technically we should be budgeting it for in this uh, budget we were been discussing here this evening and, and the, the reason why I asked that is should when we go in the deliberative session should we as a board be amending that figure so it doesn't look like come out of reserves that it, it adds to the budget that people are voting on should not, not be added so it's, it's transparent versus I will take it out of reserve if it's there. Well, again, 
again, we, sh we could make it transparent, budget forward in the FY15 um, budget. If monies are available, a recommendation could be brought forward to the school board to deal with it out of the current operating budget. Well, I, I'm just, when I, I think it, when it says, I'm just concerned that I, I, if we get a lot of retirements and it ends up being four at 15,000, that's 60, 70. So I, I don't want people <coughs> to come up and, you know, they get their retirement, but, you know, we waive this for them to get that. And I, I just, since we should have an idea, I'm sure the reason why December 1st is so we can make sure we have the money in the budget or next year's budget, whatever, we, we, we can show it and not say it's a transfer. And I'm just make, making sure it's completely transparent, that's all. All right. So, I mean, those procedurally, those are some options or suggestions for the board. Yes. Yes, go ahead. Um, just um, to, to, again, just so the people out there understand, 18-2 is part of the contract. It was signed and agreed upon that they, we must be notified no later, well, the superintendent, than December 1st in writing. Are we creating, if we do this this evening again, a situation of past practice? And when you have a contract and it says December 1st, there are probably reasons. And I would say one of the biggest reasons is the fact that um, the budget season is not at a close at that time, and we can still put that money in there and, and be safe on that. I mean, say, for instance, we waive this, and we end up having, by tomorrow, 15 more retirements come in. We're, we're responsible for that. So a deadline, to me, is a deadline. It's in the contract. It's there. And yes, as Mr. Sullivan stated, we can waive it. But I don't think, I didn't hear from him that Mr. Alwell said we must. No, he so, said we have done it in the past, though, so it's not. Yeah, we're not. We're, like, not crea we're not creating something now new. It has been done in the past, so it's not. This is not the first time. Well, um, you know, maybe he can read the history to when it was done and how much. If you have that, do you have that, Mr. Chair? I don't have, have that right here. Thank you. Can I, I, Mr. Chair? Yep. Go ahead. We would. They would be closed as of now, though. Correct. We would not be expect, accepting any more after this date. Mr. Chair, if you want to put a qualifier on this, you can. Um, it's always your right. I guess that was, Leslie, that was kind of what I was thinking as well, is that, you know, because it does raise some very interesting issues. And one would, you know, one qualifier is, okay, well, we're going to do it for these four, but that's it. And, and then we, you know, make a strong statement that going forward, it has to, we have to, we really have to stick to December 1st, because I think, you know, you've raised some good points as to why it's December 1st, because the budget cycle is open. Um, the other thing that I think we need to, if we're going to, in my mind, if we're going to move forward with this, I'm okay with going forward with the, the idea that if we have a surplus, we can use the surplus to pay for it. If we don't have a surplus, then I think there's got to be an understanding that, you know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have to adjust the budget that the voters approve. And there are going to have to be cuts made in what's been what's in the budget right now to fund this. It's not coming out of anything else, and we're going to we're going to cut something to make up the difference. Henry, yeah, I'm just look. I I've only received two that I see in my. Well, I, but but again, you may have more. Just, but I, if I might, I mean, I, I think that. Can I continue? Well, let me just. I want to. I, I will let you continue in a second. But I think we should make this decision independent of the people of the the individuals. He's not saying that's, that. That's that's I'm not I'm saying I'm not saying anything about individuals okay. or whatever, but the letters that I received and I'm looking at, it does not state that they are looking for any remuneration over and above the intent to retire. Right. They're fully aware of the contract. Um, right. Having been involved in this with that as a former president of a teachers association, it's. You know, we're changing the parameters of a contract by allowing. Um, and my statement would be a caveat that if there's money available at the end, if we know that, that we have money, this money is not budgeted. We, you know, they haven't uh, presented or asked for. If I'm looking at the letters correctly, um, you know, we're looking at budgets that are tight and tight and tight that, again, I'm, 
That's why I'm asking the question. I'm asking the question that, one, why is this coming forward to ask us? Because it's not asked for by the individuals that are retiring, right. that have missed that deadline. There's other deadlines that teachers must have. One is when they, they've given their contract and they don't sign that contract by a date. Uh, that's, I'm just throwing those thoughts out to you guys. I, you know. yes. yep. If I could just say, and again, um, I appreciate Mr. Sullivan bringing this request forward to us. Um, however, when situations like this arise, it's always good to have your history to know what you did at the time. I don't recall we have the past Maria. eight years we have. That, um, what it was or how much it was or what happened, but I can say this much. If we are going to do this, this is, in fact, a change in the contract. Um, we are changing it. We are lifting that um, agreement that all of the taxpayers and the community and ourselves and the teachers involved and ones that are not realize that they have a deadline of December 1st if they're going to retire. How can we even, if like Chris said, we set it on and say, okay, it's only for these four. That doesn't say they can't grieve and say, hey, you did it for four today. We want it for 14 more tomorrow. Then we get ourselves in a pickle. Why can't we just stick to the verbiage? stick to the contract and not get ourselves in the middle of a situation like this and like Henry said the two letters I read nowhere does it say they expect a stipend is the stipend in their contract when they retire that's an automatic December 1st deadline yeah I mean the contract does say December 1st but I guess I'd ask the question of either Bill or or Dr. Sullivan I mean you know, what is your sense of what these individuals' expectation is in terms of the stipend? Mr. Chair? Yeah. I do not have personal knowledge, but I would fully expect that they would um, be looking at a retirement stipend to be paid on or before July 1st of that calendar year. Of how much? Depends on the amount of years they've been there. So the number of years. That's what, what is it, it $500 or $550 per year? Five. Okay, but that's what the contract says, right? But if we're not following the contract with the December 1st, can't they, in fact, ask for more? No. Mm -hmm. Why? The only thing in front of the board right now was this to waive the um, December 1st deadline. That is the one and only thing that is in front of the board at this point. It is not any of the other things. That's what's in front of the board. And as our attorney has said, it's been done in the past. Henry, did you say that your recollection it was? It has been done in the past. Do you remember, Henry, around about? But it has been done. You know. I, is this, is I'm, this I'm up for a vote yet? Or we have, we, we have something on the table. Is that correct at yeah. this point? We have a motion on the I, table to. Personally, I'd like to see the. How many there are? I see two. <coughs> There's two more. I, but again, I don't see them. I don't have them. But again, that's yeah, we can we can distribute. But whatever, but it, no, we can distribute. Know, by next time, it might be six. And yep. No, I, I I do believe that you know we do have to put some parameters around this. I don't think we can. I think if we're opening it up, I think we opened it up legally. I really do. I think once you open that up you're opening up a big can of worms mr. chair mm -hmm. I'm asking the board to waive the December 1st deadline as stated in this article period for these period for, for these for the, retirements only for the retirement letters that were received and the two that we received before tonight I mean I, I am can I do well, sorry can I can just say point out the rest of it is that and the board is going to take action no later than January 15th. So we have not passed that date. Right. We're talking about a 30 to 30, 45 day period, okay? But yet we're asked, in the, according to this, to act no later than January 15th, which we are. So anything after January 15th is not being, it's, it's moot point. Chris? 
um, Leslie, just to kind of um, follow up on what you just said, the board is held to January 15th um, by contract, as is December 1st, the staff is held. So if we could change December 1st, uh, maybe you guys could vote to change December 15th if you need to. And if I read, um, Dr. Sullivan, uh, your receipt of several retirement letters from staff, I don't see here and, and more coming in. I only have two, so I don't see that you put an open ended there to any other ones that come in. So we, I've we read that have, wrong. We do have two others in hand. Which were not included at the time of his um, memo, which was January 7th. So since that time, you've got two others. Right. Mr. Chair, I'm asking you, the board, to act on all retirement letters that I now have in our possession. I mean, the, con the one concern I, I, that I have is that, you know, if we were to, if we were to not offer the retirement stipends, it, it, it almost feels like it's a, it's, it's bad faith. I mean, um, you know, I know that it's December, December 1st deadline has passed. Uh, there were other questions about retirements pending at that time that, you know, we needed to discuss that I think teachers were waiting to hear from us on. We did that at our last meeting. Um, you know, I just think to hold, hold firm to the December 1st date at this point, um, you know, I, I don't think it's, it's just being, it's just not acting in good faith. Bill? Just, we're talking about teachers that are retiring. These teachers have been here for 15 plus, 20 plus, maybe 30 plus years. They've given a lot to Winnicott High School, and this is a tough decision for them to retire, to move on, but they have formed Winnicott High School and been a big part of Winnicott High School to the state. As you mentioned, there were several emails that you received that there were several teachers thinking about retiring, but pending what the decision of the school board, they were going to retire at the time. There may be some more that come forward based on the decision at last month's school board, but again, I think we need to respect these teachers for what they've done because they have given a lot to Winnicott in high school. Yeah. Go ahead. If, um, I agree. No, <clears throat> I think that anyone who retires, they won't retire with everything, walk out the door and not have to look back and wait for a check in two to three months or four months. Uh, with that being said, um, I don't believe we can take it out of excess funds. Wouldn't want, I wouldn't want that to be come, become a precedent. Uh, and I would say that we would pay on or about July 1st. We should actually be increasing our budget by approximate amount for these four. So they, can, they will have it on or about. So I think we always say on or about July 1st. So it could be the first invoice cut, first payment made. It doesn't breach anyone's contract because July 1st is a new budget. We just have to stand up and say because of recent retirements, we need to increase this item because this is, was unforeseen. It does two things. It gets the money in the budget. It also asks the people who are listening why they're retiring. 30, 40 years, they've been there that long. More recognition is earned that way by people saying how long i mean people just say retirement well this is deep in a long time so if you got someone 30 years that's uh i don't know fifteen thousand dollars so if you have four you could have as much as sixty to seventy thousand dollars i mean i'd rather be open with it if anyone else comes in after we go through this motion and it's let's say it's in february then then that's a little bit too far, but I think we, you need to give some flexibility. I agree with Chris, but I don't think we, I think we just had, had make an uh, adjustment to the existing budget that's being approved, and you can pay out those bonuses on July 1st. Gives them a deferred tax item for another, for a year. That, that's no problem to me. Chris, I, I think the one thing that, uh, just listening here, I'm changing my thought process a little bit because one, at our last meeting, we discussed an early retirement. And if these people, there's four people waiting whether we were going to approve an early retirement. That was past the December 1st deadline. We put the teachers into that situation right. by our thought process of waiting until our, what, the third week in, in December. Yep. 
which really held off people retiring. And part of it is that it was an error on our part of not discussing it in November to put them into the situation. We didn't approve what some people thought they were going to be getting and then decided that they were going to retire. We never know why people are retired. We, ne we don't have an exit survey of the teachers. Why? So, and again, it's all confidential. And I think I would, I would uh, go along with this uh, uh, recommendation of the superintendent because part of it is our, our holding back and not making that decision in November as opposed to the decision in December. Which is why, and I just wanted to point that out that we did we brought up in November, and we felt that we wanted a full board, and we didn't have a full board here in November, so that's why we waited till December. So, you are right. We, we put the teachers in this position; it wasn't them. So, I think, in all fairness, we have to allow these four. Maria, um, again, if you had three board members, you had enough to make a decision. We that did, evening. but we felt we wanted on something um, this big and that all had a meeting. Here. And how I I don't feel that the board put themselves in this position. We look upon our administration to bring to us when retirement situations come up. We don't interact um, individually with the teachers to talk about, are you ready to retire, what's going on? That's what they do when they bring that to us. It wasn't brought to us. And when it was brought to us, it was after the fact of the budget and everything had passed in the board. Um, I think three or four to one, you being the one, Leslie, that said, Yes to it, and the rest. No, of I didn't. Us I abstained no. from oh, it. Well, Maria. okay. You abstained. Because I needed to get more information. Stop it. Okay. Well, you right did. now. Okay. Bullying is it. You, you are oh, the oh, biggest oh, one oh, here. Oh, Done. Oh, oh, oh. Leslie, Excuse Leslie. me, Leslie. You didn't vote for it. Okay. So we did take that action, and again, um, I strongly feel that. You know, I worry because I don't look at who who the names are on the paper, or how many, or who they are, or how many years. I'm looking at the contract that we signed, the agreement between the teachers and the community and this board, and that's what I'm looking at. And should we move the date? That's up to all the board to decide. Um, I just worry about the after effect if we do, and what can come up. And as far as bullying, Leslie, you just did that. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I, 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 I'd like back on the, the one other point. Okay. Um, I recall that the, the way I recall the conversation about teachers, I recall the teachers not as teachers went to the superintendent's office, SEU office, about 10, and asked for the possible, what is the possibility that we would buy them out of their contract? by paying them $500 for, for every, I didn't hear retirement as much as teachers approached them about, you know, taking uh, early retirement, not retirement as per se. It was almost like, can we just be paid and be gone? Because they, they had, a, it was in a statement, $500 and all that. So I, I never heard the word that we were fearful of 12 people retiring, that's all. Uh, if if there if that was if those all people were there, that were in that office that presented that thing, then I think we could be having twelve people come and retire because they could all think the same thing. Well, if they're not going to agree to let us not retire but get around it, but now it's a full retirement, we could have we could have all twelve that originally showed up. We we have a we have a motion on the floor. Right now, the motion on the floor is to to waive section 18.2. I'd like to offer an amendment to that motion. Uh, Mr. Chair, I just want to be specific. My recommendation is to waive the December 1st deadline as stated. I'm not asking you to okay. waive the whole. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have a motion to waive the December 1st deadline, and that's really all we've been talking about up to this point. I'd like to offer an amendment to clarify a couple of things that that we agree to do it for only the four retirements that we have in hand as of today, January 14th, 2014. That's number one. Second part of the amendment is that um, that I'm, I'm a, that we pay for the stipends out of un, um, what's the word? Unreserved fund balance. Unreserved balances fund balance. at the end of the year. With the, but, but with the further understanding that if we fall short, 
that the money for these payments has to come out of the budget that you know we've already approved I, I don't think it's it's it, well that's that's my amendment then we can talk about it a second just for conversation okay um, did you get all that Maureen Right. The amendments agree only for the four of retirement. Waive it for only the four. Four retirement in hand on January 4th, 14, 2014. Right. Um, they pay for the stipends out of unreserved balances at the end of the year. Un un unreserved fund balances as of June 30th, okay. 2014. Two thousand fourteen fifteen budget. There needs to be cuts in the budget to pay for it. Okay. <clears throat> Basically there wouldn't because if people retire, you're gonna hire people on a lower scale. I know, but and I'm, that would take care of that what I'm getting at amount is that, for this next year. We're gonna have enough money. What I'm what I'm getting at is I wanna go I wanna go into the year with the money allocated if we need extra money I want to go into the year with money allocated for that purpose specifically you'd already have it by the retirements yeah but let's, I just want right? to make sure they they account for it the right way I think that'd be correct bill there's a good chance that that would would happen oftentimes the positions um, when folks are hired come in at a lower rate than those that have left the district that's Oftentimes, the that's, case. that's what I'm saying is that this there's an offset for that first year. Yeah. And I, I, I guess just to clarify, I want to make sure that when if we have to do this mm -hmm. on July 1st, we got a line item that says retirement stipends, right? And that comes from something, right? Mm -hmm. Either staff cut, a cut in salary somewhere, <clears throat> or a cut in books. To pick Students, a, pick, a, pick, a, pick a popular example, something, correct? But we budget for it going into the new year. Yeah. We could make sure that as that budget gets implemented, that we've designated where those funds are going to come from that are not needed to cover those retirements. Okay. Uh, thank you. That's, uh, that's my amendment. Thank you, Chris. I don't think you want to. I believe they should get the retirement. I always and but there is some restriction, and that's why you have days and all that. Um, I don't want to go back and tell the people we're going to add to the budget because that's you know. Right. But we can certainly you know. We, we don't want to make it if someone comes again we have to vote on it but I don't want to make it a it's a good condition if it's there whatever if it's not there psh, but something has to be cut psh, so that it is a, there's no change in either either budget right I guess, I guess you know I don't, I don't mean to put you on the spot bill but I'm going to okay that's why that's why they pay me um, <clears throat> are there any others that might come out of the woodwork tomorrow that you know of I do not I do not know of any at this point but based on the previous emails that were sent there were about 12 to 14 total that were considering it at that time some of those may come forward some of those may not Chris I think we're done right with here that that's said. not to be brought up <laughs> with yep. that said we know there's 12 to 14 looming and this is at least four of them um, just as we were saying earlier, we feel that, well, Henry said he feels it's kind of the board <clears throat> because we put that vote off till December, that it, we kind of put the teachers in a bad place. Well, doing this vote tonight, does the whole staff know, or those 12 to 14, that this is on the table for a vote? And um, if not, then are we doing a disservice to them also? And yes, they can come forward tomorrow. And the other question is, in the past, when we've had situations where we've not had the funds, it seems to be that um, different freshman sports programs for kids, it always seems that it's something that hits the kids really hard that Maria, ends that's up getting cut true. out of the budget. We've never dropped freshman sports. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying You're it You're bringing counts. it up as freshman sports. We've never dropped no, that. No, we didn't. That was in the newspaper it that was someone right. released. Henry, Henry. Right. Oh, I'm it, getting tired of this. Yeah, yeah. it was requested. But, by the principal, not by the board. 
And um, again, not how requested can we assure, by the principal. No. How can we make sure with the um, amendment that that does not happen? Well, we'll and Henry, we, that's got to be asked. I we, mean, we, that was not would, by the principal. We would review any. We would the board would review any budget change, and if we don't agree with where the money's coming from, we would vote against it. I guess the one thing that you know now you got me thinking. I know. Should we create some kind of a window of opportunity that says, okay, we're gonna we're gonna give you until next week, Leslie? Once again. Can we go back to the original motion that all it says is waive the December 1st deadline? The rest of it says must be in writing and the board must take action no later than January 15th of that school year. We're taking action before the 15th. All we've asked for, all that's being asked for is that the December 1st be waived. Doesn't matter what happens tomorrow. We've already voted tonight. It, according to the rest of the contract, the vote we had to, we have to take action that. by the 15th so at this point all but, of this discussion no that, over one thing of changing the December 1st date and that's your that's bringing us back to reality thank, thank you. you um you know I mean that is one way to look at it yeah one way the other way to look at it is you know we've kind of screwed up the whole schedule yeah. by delaying things and do we give everybody it do we give everybody the equal an equal opportunity to know that they can take advantage of this Can I just say nothing else has been asked of us other than to do the December 1st date that is the only thing that has become for this board for now. that's it right now December 1st we're not acting on anything that's coming down the road that's like saying what's gonna happen next meeting Is somebody gonna stand up here and ask for something no, we have I, no idea but I, I, I what we're asked for is the December 1st right now and I suggest we vote on it okay could we uh, I, the so motion, I so agree on your motion well what do we tell where are we we're on voting on the amendment okay and the amendment was so could you read the amendment back we have to vote on the original motion first no you vote the amendment first the amendment first okay the amendment includes to agree only for the four retirements in hand on january 14 2014 to pay for the stipends out of unreserved fund balances as of june 30th 2014. If the monies fall short, then the monies need to come out of the 2014-2015 budget. Okay. Although, is any last bill, Dr. Sullivan, last opportunity to weigh in with any comments before we take a vote? Not to the item that you're voting on. Okay. All right. All those in favor? Chairman, oh. before we, we say four, we have two. We at least have the other two names. Oh. D does it matter? We can do that. I mean, I it's just, a, it, it, it shouldn't matter, but we, we can do that. It doesn't matter. I just, no, let the, we've got two names already. Let's, just, just, yeah. let's give everybody the names. Thank you. I retired. I retired. <laughs> I want to go back to work. I go back to work. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, but they've got another. Thank you. Let's see if it's not 23 years. We're putting our foot down. Somebody walks in your office tomorrow. Okay. Um, oh, no. We're still waiting to get the. Okay. Um, all those in favor of the amendment? Raise your hand. All those opposed? Okay. So the amendment carries three to two, if I got that right. So now, yes. Ooh. You move the amendment. And I, I move the amendment, yes. I second, I second it for discussion. Okay. So now we're back we're to the main motion, which is to to waive the December 1st um, deadline uh, with the stipulations that are included in the amendment. So moved. Dr. Sullivan, did you want to comment on the main motion? No, Mr. Chair. Okay. Bill? No. So everybody's clear. We're just four people. That's all we're doing. Okay. 
All those Can you in favor? Yes. You want to you want to make you want to read the motion? Read the motion. Read please, the motion that we're voting on. Yes. Okay. Thank you. The amended motion. Oh, this is the amended motion. Okay, Chris. No, 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 no. It's the it's Leslie moved to waive the December first deadline. deadline. Right. That's and the then first motion. That yeah, and then it, we amended it to include the stipulations that I included. Okay. That's what we're voting on. The whole thing we're voting oh, on. The whole thing. Those in favor? Let's see three, four hands. All opposed? One. Okay. I'd like to make a motion. Yes. I would, uh, unless the doctor oh, Sullivan. Please. If, unless you want to announce the re re retirees, that's all. Yeah. Would you like to? So no. I'm just saying I'd like to well, make I will a if, you, if you, I thought. I don't want to make the motion teach as long as I have. I'll just Wayne, make please make the motion. <laughs> so moved. <laughs> Move what? What, are, we move? what, are, you, what yeah. are you moving? I'm, I'm moved to the left. Move to accept. <laughs> accept the four retirements. Is that what you're moving? I, uh, I motion. I'll, I'll I would, second that. I move to. Uh, I move to accept with regret the retirements of John Dover, Edward Beatty, Edward. Browser and Kathleen Lombardi. Lombardi, thank you. Is there a second? I'll no second that. Any discussion? All those in favor? What did I see? Four, five? Five. Five. Okay, thank you. Okay. Sorry, Dr. Thank Sullivan. you all. I, 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 sh oh, yeah. I shouldn't have taken the glory out of it. I mean, that's a good job. <laughs> I thought we already had talked about the teachers. I'm just saying so moved. I forgot that was 15 minutes ago that we started that. Sorry. I Next.